Hello and welcome to my writing vlog. The day started by taking my daughter to school. She recorded this footage and then I returned home to the dogs. In the last few weeks, I've pulled back a lot from my writing as I was starting to feel burnt out. Hopefully this vlog reflects that I'm not pushing myself too hard. I make myself a low acidic coffee that I'm trying out to reduce the acid burn in my mouth which is perhaps from long Covid and then coffee made I go up to my desk heater on it's very cold here in the UK the cat is watching me and then I start to get myself organized all the footage so far in this vlog has been recorded on my iPhone but now I get out my camera and crack on with a quick tidy of my desk And then it's time to pour myself a cuppa, one of my favourite things to do. And then I decide to shoot a quick reel for both Instagram and TikTok. I love creating slow-mo reels at the moment. They are calming and satisfying to create and fulfil another creative side of me. I don't do much, just get the coffee in the right position. Then click slow-mo record on my phone. In this split screen, you can see what I actually did and what the finished result looked like. The first thing I'm working on this morning is finishing editing my Journaling for Writers Masterclass that I held in September and will be making it available to purchase very soon. I'm editing in iMovie as I don't have Final Cut Pro on my iMac as yet, it's still on my laptop. I'm taking out as many ums as possible, plus any waffle that's unnecessary. I've also edited out the faces of those who participated. Do ignore my messy screen, I can't seem to keep it clean very long. I did this for an hour or so until I finished. Then I pulled out my planner pad and worked out what I'd like to achieve today. Here I am just checking it's saved properly. Then I have a break and watch a little of Sarah Cannon's NaNoWriMo vlogs on her Heart Breathings channel. And then it's time for a dog walk with my friend and her tiny teddy bear dog. Puppy face gets a bit excited. Back home, it's dinner time for the dogs and a hot chocolate for me as it was so cold out there. Catface is keeping watch out for cream. I airdrop some video clips from my phone to computer and then start on my next task which is my non-fiction book proposal. This was not something I anticipated doing this year. It was a last minute decision some months ago, so it probably has been the main driver behind my burnout. So I'm taking it slow and steady. The post-its are all my notes and I'm transferring them to a document in Scrivener. One of the tasks I have on my list is to create blog posts for all the videos I've created lately, adding a little more depth with the writing. I keep putting it off, so here I decide to get one started and I end up taking far too long choosing a photo for the post. This is written in Squarespace. Then it's time to go out again Always take your writing journal with you. I lock the door and pop on a podcast to keep me company. And I'm reunited with my daughter. Again, she's recording this footage. I had an idea whilst driving, so once I've arrived home, waiting for our fish and chips to be delivered, 
I settle in one of my favourite spots with my favourite dogs. And I try to write in my writing journal when she lets me. Stop. <laughs> Just let me write. <laughs> it was an idea for a non-fiction book. Then it was bedtime and I read my book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was really unsettling at one point in an exciting and rather delicious way. So I stopped reading and wrote before getting back to the book. Here I am writing about doing an Instagram live soon, something my son suggested to me. And then it was time to switch off the light and to go to sleep.